Well, folks, I'm at it again. I'm in my canoe, uh, just paddling up this creek right now. And uh, a lot of deer flies pulled off a few ticks off of me. But uh, let the adventure begin. I'm um, fishing new water, of course. Uh, never know what you can expect when you hop into uh, one of these carrion lakes. It's supposed to have muskies in it. I don't know if it has any muskies in it anymore. Um, you just never know. That's the beauty about, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> deer fly. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about the Northwoods is there's so much water to explore and uh, with this Golden Hawk canoe I can do that and uh, I'm absolutely pumped about uh, this evening. Yeah, so I'm just going up this creek and uh, hopefully get to the lakes here soon. Hopefully there's not a beaver dam stopping my uh, journey here. Um, but uh, that's all I can hope for. Hopefully there's some biting muskies that have not seen baits before. That's all you can hope for. Dumb muskies on a little boat uh, in the Northwoods. So that's the goal. Hopefully uh, it happens. All right, first obstruction. I am going through literally a foot stream. Holy cow, look how skinny this is. You couldn't even get a rowboat through here. Oh my gosh, but just effortlessly going through with the canoe here. Oh man, that is cool. That is cool. Finally widening up here. Gosh, this looks like a cool little musky zone. <laughs> a little deep pocket in the river. All right, well. Not much to this lake. There's lily pads and some cabbage. And uh, I've got a little cloud coverage at the moment. Not much, but some. I'm gonna start off with the old uh, 715 water chopper and uh, go from there. I think I'll start off throwing top water because why not? That's a lot more fun than <laughs> most baits. So, so yeah, that's uh, the program as of right now. I'm gonna throw that on a 400 tranks and a surgical strike 2020. Only brought that and a little carotid rod for death rise death pause minnows um oh no we'll see what this little adventure brings this this evening Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Here's one, wow. That didn't take long, guys, what a wait. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh, he came back for it. He came back for it, he came back for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> gosh dang, come on, Matt. Why is he doing that? There's a good one. Oh no. There's a good one. Gosh dang it. I got him. Gosh, my net would not untangle. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Going into a little adventure. Hell yeah, that is what I needed. That is amazing, guys. Just a topwater bite right away like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm jacked up. Not hooked bad. Just a little quick pop and she'll be free. Hey, easy there, girl. Easy there, girl. Come on. Easy there, girl. Oh, she's off. Just like that. Dude, <laughs> she waked on it so hard. And then I had to turn off the trolling motor because she was coming into the boat. I wasn't even looking and that thing just exploded on it. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was so freaking cool. Oh, guys, I'm shaking. That is what I needed. Holy cow. Got an awesome muskie here. Just like that. I literally just shot what I was throwing, guys. Probably made about 10 casts. It's kind of windy which is uh, making boat control a little difficult, but <laughs> we got her done. Lee lures, water chopper, sun's coming up for this fish. 
Uh, let's get her out of the bag. Just like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, didn't get a look at her. She popped out of the net. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't know, probably like a 33 incher. Uh, super cool though. Um, I guess that means I should get back to casting. Couldn't grab her. She was just so... <laughs> Shoot, I wanted to hold that one. Show the guys. Uh, so interesting. Um, on these lakes, these fish don't get real big. But that thing had some crazy big eyeballs. You know, they're smaller, older fish. And uh, I guess that's how that goes. I kind of thought that was going to happen, to be honest with you. But that's how it goes. Time to keep casting. Maybe there is a big girl in here. All right. Well, it's not how it's supposed to go. But you know what? That's part of life. Didn't really need to hold that one. That thing was so angry. It probably would have just cut me up like crazy. But yeah, just doing the old uh, 715 maneuver here. Casting out some lily pads with water chopper. Never thought in a million years that this would be a pattern, but um, apparently it is up here. So, uh, but yeah, I got my boat flipped around. I was running it forward and that was actually kind of a pain in the butt because when I put my trolling motor to one, it's actually way too fast. And uh, wow, you can, sun's out and let's see the visibility. It's dirty, but it's not crazy dirty, I guess. Definitely, uh, definitely dark water. Sun is gonna pop out though. So maybe that'll ruin my uh, top water evening, but that's all right. Like I said, that thing was jacked up. That thing probably would have cut me. I forgot a glove, so. Who knows? That was a nice healthy fish though. Maybe there are some 40 inches in here that I don't know about. Anything over 30 inches is an amazing fish. The fight in the canoe is so much fun, especially by yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fun. All right, enough chatting. Get back to casting here. Hopefully I just have to throw a top water all night and just catch a bunch of muskies. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Oh yeah, come on, come back for it, come back for it. Oh yeah, guys, that was a nice head that slammed that chopper probably too far out. I made a bomb cast and next to this lily pad, there's some cabbage now. Come on, really? She's not gonna come for it again? Just gotta lay my cast where that was again, maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, two chopper bites. Okay. There's a nice little pocket in between the weeds. Oh no. Oh wow, I'm good, I'm good, I'm free, I'm free. Come on, do it again, do it again. Do it again. Do it again, Muskie, come on. That would have been such a fun battle all the way out there. Oh, come on, really? You're just gonna be a pain in the butt, aren't you? Okay, one for two on Water Chopper. I'm almost tempted to go to a Blades just to you know, I'm sure I could rack up a little more bites there. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Come on. Didn't get hooked. Didn't get hooked. That is one for three on chopper guys. I knew there would be one in, in this back bay. Probably about the same size as the other ones. Fun musky size, that's for sure. I knew there'd be one back here. All right, well, my gut, 
My gut was right, just didn't land them. Well guys, a little update for you. Haven't had a musky action in like an hour or so. This wind really picked up. And uh, if I knew this, I'd be on the flipping big lake. Kind of bummed out at the moment. One more musky would kind of swallow that uh, emotion. Kind of bummed out though. I mean, it was flat calm all day and now at sunset here, or close to sunset, that wind's gonna pick up, which is usually not the case, but I guess it is a northeaster and sometimes it does like to pick up when it's coming out of that direction at night so i don't know it was nice and warm before muskies were being happy and uh now not so much it's kind of a bummer but it kind of takes a while to get back in here and i'd rather not do that at night and uh i don't know we'll give the stretch where i caught that one muskie to go and I don't know, probably, probably head home after that, but, you know, I wish I would have held up that muskie for you guys. It was a cool looking fish. Those eyeballs were <laughs> pretty funny looking, but we'll see here. Let's uh, not give up hope. It's got to be one more hungry muskie. There you go. There you go. There's one coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. That was intense. There's one. Just keep them going around. Keep them going around. Grab my net. That was quite the kill. Keep them going around. Keep them going around. <laughs> yeah. musky day. And this one's quite a bit smaller. <laughs> Two musky day. Woo, I didn't think that was possible. I kind of lost a lot of confidence, but what a sick eat. What a sick eat. Stop! This thing is absolutely so angry. These are some of the angriest muskies I have ever seen. Got him. <laughs> so sick. That is so sick. All right, I can go home happy. This one's quite a bit smaller than that first one. That first one actually looks a lot better than this one. But super cool sunset muskie on top water. In the canoe, what a wrangle. I gotta love it. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> there she goes. What a mean, mean green machine. <laughs> that is sick. That is so sick. I am so soaked. I can't believe that. That I don't even know if it was 30 inches, but on the Lee Lures Chopper, Water Chopper 715 color. All right, two for four on muskies a day. I don't know, only been out for three hours or so, but uh, dang, that was so cool. <laughs> I didn't even know it was hooked. I was like, wow, oh. it looked like it just popped on it. You know, I kept the bait going. I was like, holy cow, my chopper is absolutely gone. So that was cool. <laughs> Well, folks, that's going to wrap up today's video here. I'm uh, just going to troll back to uh, where I got to get out. And um, yeah, that was cool. Love fishing new water. That's what's so fun about muskies, especially up in the Northwoods. There is a lot of it. There is so much water that I have not even touched yet. And it was cool to actually go on one and have some success. Uh, I would love to come back here. Um, there's definitely some muskies around. So pretty pumped about that. Can't beat that. Um, that's how it goes though but not big ones but doesn't really matter when you're in a canoe like this just oh just so much fun 
two for four on muskies can't beat that uh guys thanks so much for watching um please leave it in the comments below what would you guys like to see next we got july coming up here and um i don't know weather is just not looking good for musky fishing at, at least in this part of the state but hey maybe we'll, we'll figure something out here and um you know get on some kind of bite looks like we're going to be in vampire mode though for the next couple of weeks i think that's going to be one of the only ways to uh, catch muskies coming up here in july so kind of looking forward to that and that could be pretty awesome for for a big fish so guys anyways uh thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next musky hunt